Welcome back. Now this, House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer has released bank records showing Hunter Biden's Chinese-linked business, Owasco PC, making direct monthly payments to Joe Biden in 2018. These payments are each for nearly $1,400. It has happened three times that we have uh, identified, totaling more than $4,000. The Washington Post is accusing Comer of mischaracterizing the payments, claiming Hunter was just paying his father back for a car. The Oversight Committee responding with this on X. The goalposts have moved so far that corporate media appears to be using emails from Hunter Biden's laptop to make their latest defense of the Bidens. In short, Joe Biden received money from his son's business with CCP ties. White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre abruptly ended her press conference yesterday after being asked about these direct recurring payments to Joe Biden. Watch. According to bank records obtained by the House Oversight Committee, though, uh, one of Hunter Biden's businesses, Osawa PC, set up direct payments to the president. Uh, did the president accept payment? And why would there be such an arrangement? I, I have not seen that report, so I would have to refer you to my colleagues over at the White House Counsel's Office on that particular question. All right, everyone. I'll see some of you in Boston or on Wednesday. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. All right, see you later. Joining me now is Georgia Congressman Buddy Carter. Congressman, what can you tell us about these payments, recurring payments to Joe Biden from Hunter Biden as he was accepting money from the Chinese Communist Party? Well, it's becoming more and more obvious that uh, there's a problem here. And I applaud Jamie Comer and the Oversight Committee, as well as the Judiciary Committee and Ways and Means, for the work that they have done, because they have uncovered some things that are very, very serious. And, and keep in mind now two things. First of all, impeachment is serious. We understand that. That's why we were so upset when the Democrats, uh, we felt like, did not use it in a serious way against Donald Trump. We're going to make sure that we do that. We're going to follow the law. But we have a responsibility in Congress to do this. And if you look at these payments, you will see that there is a trail here. And But I, I do have to say that I have to admire Joe Biden because it, for as a father of three sons, I've never been able to get them to send me money, but he's getting his son to send him money. So evidently, this is working out pretty well for him. Yeah. And James Comer discussed all of this with me on Sunday Morning Futures. Uh, in terms of the walls closing in on this, here's James Comer, the chairman of the Oversight Committee, with me Sunday. We don't have that side. Okay, so when we come back, we will get that for you because James Comer went through all of these issues. Um, let me ask you a question where this is leading, Congressman. Are you expecting mm -hmm. that you have the votes for an impeachment inquiry to be formalized in the coming weeks before you leave? Uh, for the holidays? Yes, sir. Yes, we do have the votes. I will tell you that, and I intend to vote for it. And and that's the next step. Keep in mind that, uh, that these committees have done their job. Jamie Comer and the other committees have done their job of accumulating the information. Now it is time to take the next step, and the next step is the is the impeachment inquiries. This will give us the opportunity to force the White House to release some of this information. Right now, they're releasing some, but they're not releasing all of it. If we have the impeachment inquiries, then they'll have to release all of it. So this is the natural next step in the process. So we have followed the process and we're going to continue to follow the process. But I will tell you, the trail is pretty obvious at this point. Yeah, here is uh, James Comer with me on Sunday. Watch. When they saw the $5 million wire go to an investment fund with no investments and that they knew that the Bidens had all these shell accounts, and they mentioned that in the email, the, these accounts where they weren't real businesses, they were just they were just like dormant accounts, you get a huge $5 million wire in. So they obviously reach out to the president's son and say, uh, Mr. Biden, what is this $5 million wire? We need to know or we're going to have to notify uh, the Treasury Cabinet of a suspicious activity report. He said, oh, that's a loan. And they're like, a loan? from China, okay, well, we need the loan documentation so that we can, we can have that in the records for the bank examiners. And they said there were no loan documents. So the bank knew right away China didn't send someone in the United States, to, especially the, the son of a vice president of the United States, $5 million as a loan without any loan documentation or without any terms of the loan. Yeah, and, and, and of course, that's the crux of it. He's referring to that email that the Oversight Committee released 
uh, which uh, is an email from a bank examiner uh, questioning uh, the Hunter Biden as a customer, saying he's high risk, saying that uh, the uh, the fact is is there's no business rendered and there's all these uh, payments going to Hunter Biden accounts, erratic and unusual activity. And that's right, Maria. And look, bank records don't lie. Uh, Joe Biden may lie, but bank records don't lie. And it's been proven that Joe Biden met with these people. He shook hands with these people. He sat yeah. down with these people, all in order to be reimbursed for this. And the money is coming from China. It's coming from Ukraine. This is, you know, look, where there's, where there's smoke, there's fire. And it's our responsibility and responsibility we take very serious in Congress to follow this trail. Well, we're going to follow it as well. Meanwhile, we want to take a look at the border, which is spiraling out of control. Customs and Border Patrol sources uh, telling Fox's Bill Malusian that there were more than 10,000 migrant encounters at the southern border just in the last 24 hours, Congressman. And this is the last day. More than 20,000 migrants are now in CBP custody as of yesterday morning from that day. New video of large groups of mostly Chinese national men. Military-aged men, all appearing to be military-aged, caught crossing illegally through the open gaps of the border wall near San Diego, California. Some of these Chinese nationals are seen wearing designer clothing, others in collared shirts. Uh, engineers, a couple of the migrants have nice suitcases as well. These people do not appear to be running uh, from, you know, from uh, bad governments or some upset in their country. They're all military-aged men and they're well-dressed. What is going on here? Absolutely. This is a tragedy. It, it is, it, you know, this is the worst things I think that we've seen happen in our country. This border is out of control. Not only do we have these people coming in, including terrorists, we had 12 terrorists just recently who were on the terrorist watch list who we identified coming across that border. And listen, they're not dumb. They know that if they want to get in this country, that's all they've got to do. And, and not only are coming into this country, the fentanyl that is killing 200 people every day in our country, how can we continue to just ignore that? And this administration does that, but we in the Republican Party are not going to allow that to happen. You know, Maria, when I go home, the question I get is how can you justify sending money to you Ukraine to protect their border when you're not protecting our border? And that's a question I cannot answer. And I'm going to make sure that if we're going to send money to another country to protect their border, we're going to protect our border first. All right. We're going to be watching that. Certainly, Congressman. Good to see you this morning. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. Congressman Buddy Carter joining us. Stay with us. We'll be right back.